Hi, this is John with Schubert Technologies. Just posting up a real quick video of a product that I purchased recently. Uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, I will post about gaming, about technology, about um, drones as well on often occasions. This is non-affiliate. This is not paid in any way. Didn't get anything free. Um, something where I got this email about the Xbox Design Lab. So this is the web page, and I'll put a link to it um, in the description below. So if you would, please like and subscribe. I'm getting up to the point where um, I can enable the partner with YouTube. So I'm at currently like 340 subs, need to hit 500. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and jump into looking at the product. So just to give you a frame of reference, this is just a normal Xbox controller. It's the same build quality. Everything about it is basically the same. Open it up. You're going to have this very nicely packaged box from Microsoft Design Labs. Just pull this out. And when you open it, here it is. So it's going to have some paperwork underneath, which I have removed. Um, and then uh, a couple of batteries. So it does not come with a rechargeable battery pack. And so some of the options that I added to it. So this is the storm cloud vapor. So just to kind of give you a difference. The sheen is like a semi gloss, you know, the same as a standard one. Um, so this is the storm cloud vapor. There's about four or five different colors and designs. Um, they all kind of have this vapor display to them. So this added um, $9.99 to the base price. Then the grips. So I added rubberized grips. So this uh, is what a standard grip looks like. This grip adds uh, $5.99 to the price. So you can make this part rubberized. I believe you can make this part rubberized. Um, I chose to do this because whenever I'm holding it, you know, that's typically where I need to grip it. If, you know, my hands are coming off center to go like this. Now my friction point is, is back here. And of course you're squashing your thumb pad right here on the controller. So I don't know, that just made more sense to me. Of course you can do it the way that you want. The back, I made storm gray. So you can get that in any color that you want. That doesn't add any cost to it. The bumpers. So these are your bumpers. So black is stock. And so I changed these to a gray. And then the triggers. So you can make these a different color from the bumpers. So I kept mine storm gray. Again, kind of give you a side by side on that. And then the D-pad. So, okay, so here's a good example where I said it's metallic, but it's not actually metal. This is quote unquote, metallic so it's got a different appearance to it <laughs> albeit it's not a big difference and that added three dollars and 99 cents to the cost um so i don't know i mean it looks good i don't know if it's worth four dollars look good but and then let's see the thumbsticks carbon black so i got these in black you can see um stock they come in blue and then the A, B, X, Y. So those are your buttons. So you can get these um, color matched. You can get them to match. If you look here, you can see the blue, yellow, red, and green. So you can get it where the letters um, are that color. Or in my case, what I got was gray letters on a black background. So you have some different choices there. And then finally, you can change these buttons. So in this case, you can see that it's color matched to the case. And in my case, I went with gray on a black. So very, very subtle. If I'm in the middle of a game and I don't remember this one versus this one, it's gonna be kind of tough to look down and look at it. You know, this one's a little bit easier, um, but half the time I don't really need to because I play the same games, do the same things, you know, whether it's a party invite or whatever. Um, so that's not an issue. So as far as the look, the feel, the weight, uh, the weight, everything else, it's completely identical. It, it is the same. Um, in my case, I just spent another, basically, what is that? 10 plus six, 16, $19. So about another $20, um, 
just for the different looks. So would I suggest it? Yeah, sure. I mean, if you want a controller that looks good, um, if you're like cutting edge and you need something that like gives you a leg up, maybe you seem it needs some additional pads here, um, that you can program. Um, if you need it to be rechargeable, of course, you're going to have to update that, um, because it just comes with standard batteries, like a standard controller does. So with that, I hope that that helped anyone come up with their own conclusions on if they want to buy this. Uh, I like it. So, you know, it's money well spent in my book. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for your time.